John Mendez here with one of our how-tos. This time we're looking at turning in reasonably small spaces. And we've covered this in the long distance past, but this time we've managed to borrow a boat with an outboard on so you can actually see the engine turning. So as I talk us through, you'll be able to see what I actually do with the engine itself, positioning wise. So whenever you're doing this, the key thing is to think about what are the elements doing? Now, you can probably see we've got a pretty stiff breeze here. And that means that I need to think about ideally pushing the bow of the boat through the wind for my turn. That allows me to push the bow, uh, boat up to safety, gives me the most time, and also allows me to think about when I go astern, there's plenty of room behind me to complete the turn before I come out. Anyway, we'll show you what, what it looks like and you can see what you think. So to make my turn in my reasonably confined space, I'm approaching up the hill into those elements so that I've got the maximum amount of brakes. It's just a decent breeze here. As I turn into the aisle, the wind will become less, but I still want to keep myself slightly higher centre. So coming into the aisle, and I'm aware that the starboard side is my safe side, port side is my more dangerous side. That's where I'll end up if I don't do it right. So as I come in, I'm always looking for, is there any natural width from a boat being missing? And it's all nice and full in here. So what we'll do then, we'll just come about halfway down, see the little patches of darkness on the water, that's the breeze coming through. So now I'm gonna put the wheel all the way to starboard, push my bow up towards the craft on the safe side. As it's coming round, start to centre my wheel, just letting the boat run to use all the space. And as we get close, I've got the helm on full port lock into a stern. And again, I'm just using the space and judging. Another click of a stern. As that space starts to close, I'm going to use all of the lock to starboard. Just have one little click that pushes my bow up and through the wind. And if I need to reverse to give myself more space, fine. Or, as in this case, I've got a little bit of breeze there, allow that to gently take the bow, and out we come. Now, as we come out, the starboard side is now my danger side. That's where I'm being pushed, so I'm a little bit high up the center. And as I'm coming out, I'm keeping just slightly higher the center deliberately. Ease into neutral as I approach the end of the aisle. I don't want to go come out into someone's face. As we get to the end, good luck, port and starboard. Happy days. And out we go. So, turning in a confined space, all about choosing which way the bias is in the hill. Make sure you get the wheel fully over for each change of direction. So if you're turning to starboard, it'll be wheel fully to starboard, ahead. Use up as much space as you dare, then you're gonna have wheel all the way to port as you reverse away. Try and get the wheel all the way over before you engage the gear. It gives you much more turn. So it's always, think about it, wheel, then gear. Then neutral, think about it, wheel, then gear. And then you'll have the best turn possible. Enjoy.